Okay, so someone in my Discord challenged me to make a game. It needs to be 10, by the way. But I don't have any idea how to make a 3D game. Or any game. Or anything. Because I'm a complete new. Anyways, I decided to go with the movie route. Quote, and it was choosing a local game. Now, I had two options mainly. Construct 3 and G Develop. I went with G Develop because um, it, it was mainly, it had many more features and it was just what I wanted. So yeah, let's just get right on it and uh, watch me um, get dumbed for like 15 minutes. So I fired up this G Develop and opened a new project. I selected empty game because I don't have any other ideas and I decided to make a flappy bird type of game so I made a new scene and then I gave it the name menu because let's be honest it's a menu and um, I got into there and uh, I just messed around a little bit until I made a sprite which was basically a background nice sprite I made the background it was just a normal pixelated background image found on Google it was pretty cool I searched up I think it was like um, Flappy Bird background PNGs or whatever I searched up that and I found it and then I not export it, imported it. But see, I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I'm really dumb. I imported it to you develop and then I started making it. After setting the appropriate size for the background, I search like play button, which will basically act as a play button. And I found one that was really good. I added it to my project and then I was saying to wait. I waited a little bit and then closed because I already had that. After I fell right with the position of the play button, I then imported a text which will act as the title and the starting page or the menu page or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> um, I quickly wrote the font and then applied it. I dragged it. It's like um, just like dragging it and then I resized it I um, repositioned it and um, it, 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 it worked okay it worked I went into the events tab added a condition and the condition was when the mouse so basically it was like the mouse hovers over the button, the stop button at least, and then the mouse button is pressed. Then the action will be triggered as the scene will be chased. So you can see me creating two scenes, which wasn't necessary at the moment. I created one scene, and that one scene was mainly the important one. And then I add the action. As you can see, it was the change the scene and I was change it to new scene because the second one would be the game over one so i went to the new scene and i started copying everything basically <laughs> uh, i added the new sprite which will basically act as the player um i already had like a player character and um yeah i was basically just um renaming this is messing around with the rename but basically it will have only one animation and that would be the flying animation so the wings will just like you know flap this is flappy bird but this is grumpy bird <laughs> i know unique name but it just yeah so as you can see i imported it and then i just dragged it resized it a bit and it, it, it was good to go then i double clicked the character and then went to behaviors and then selected the clap 
transformer character behavior. Basically it just comes with a bunch of settings and then it comes with some basic controls as well. So it, it was going to be really helpful, I just changed the gravity and this also makes the word have uh, physics epic. Then on the asset store I found some metal boxes. Yes! I found some metal boxes, what the heck dude, what the heck was that? Oh my god, the script is so messed up. We just put blocks down and then I resized them, but at the end it didn't really work. So I'm just gonna skip all the parts that didn't work. But you can still see my time uh, at the bottom right of the screen. My clock's going on. I started this at I think it was like 4:15, I think, and then at 4:45, like got 4:45. Thank God I did. <laughs> But I'm just gonna skip all the parts that are just not working. But you know what? Better yet, I'm gonna do a time lapse. Nothing much really happened. I just resized all the cubes and it just ended up not working. So it's just a big time waste. But basically, what I just did was I made this ground thingy that will just go over the cubes, but at the end, it didn't really do that. Um, I made the bird controllable so that he can just um, fly up and down, up and down, um, which it didn't really work. I was following uh, the gem devs tutorial on this, which really helped me out. And at the end, I realized that the box didn't really work, so I changed it. This time, instead of a sprite that you can stretch, I just used a tile mat which basically just displays a type of image over and over the amount of time to stretch it. Which worked out really, really, really better than expected and um, I took some time in finding that which um, I'd say it was worth it, I don't know, it was like a fair trade. I was great to make um <clears throat> what i basically did was i resized it and then the benefit of having a tile map this time was was the fact that i was able okay the fact that i was able to see the width and um the length basically like the yeah i just changed from 32 to i think like something like 408 or something like that and then from that i don't know i'm not looking at the looking at the report or whatever so basically i just change it to what it is now so that it can spawn normally how i expect it to Then the part of programming came and ooh, it didn't really like to go in my favor in programming, but I didn't really how it kind of worked out, but it didn't really. I just took the explanation of these two um, set of cubes and then I went back to the events tab and then I just pasted it just like how it was supposed to be. However, the bottom one, like the bottom block, was a little bit more complicated. So I basically um, used a Y flow. I think it's like a flow machine, I don't know. Um, and then I just uh, set the values to how it was supposed to be. I tinkered a little bit. I watched um, Gemdust Studio. Again, it's a really good one. I would definitely recommend the channel. Um, I think I, I should leave a link down below in the description. But uh, at the end, it just worked out in my favor. Um, I didn't really get this in like the first time. Uh, it wasn't like the single numbered. I needed to do it like two numbered one, which I um, later figured out, which was cool. As you 
can see I finally figured out that it was like the random flow of like the two numbers. It was, I, I wasted like three minutes into that. That was like so unnecessary, time waste. It was just, uh, I wish I should have understood that a little earlier. <laughs> As you can see, I am making, I made the spawning system for the bottom block, which basically the code meant that it will just generate the block 10 or so pixels below the uh, top block, which was actually a little bit easier to implement. Now, here I set a timer, or actually I reset the timer, which I set for this. So basically every three seconds, it will spawn on the x-axis, but on random y positions. And the bottom block, or the bottom set of blocks will spawn a little bit lower than that. <coughs> As you can see, it still didn't work because I forgot to fix a bug, or actually it was my fault, which I tinkered on for a bit and I wasted a lot of time. I didn't, uh, I just figured it out right, I think here at this point. I changed those two blocks from block and then block one to these top block and the bottom block. It ended up not working at all. Um, I think the problem was and that problem actually was the fact that uh, these two were supposed to be in a grouped object. I figured out right here the problem. It was just I needed to make a group and then I needed to put the two blocks in that group and then I needed to basically make the code so that it charges those two cubes at the player at the same time time not in a different time at all basically we did the code and it now it will apply force to those two blocks as a group as you can see the group pipes which are actually those things are not pipes but whatever now that needed to be a negative 100 i think i did that no i did 90 which is actually i don't think that's oh god that's actually not the oh god <laughs> i think i messed up right there but i actually didn't which was a good thing uh, kind of Actually, not really, I messed up a lot. And I didn't fix it because I didn't have enough time. <sighs> now, I set this to trigger once while well true, so basically, it would just turn on at the beginning of the scene. So. It won't just go on and on uh, while you're actually not in the scene, which is kind of a good thing, I think. Actually, I don't know. So I couldn't find any good back buttons in the asset store, so I just use a back arrow. Um, sometimes you have to compromise the game development. Um, I learned that, and then I just quickly set up the code so that. When the mouse is hovering over this specific sprite, or not sprite, actually, I think it was a triple scratch. Uh, <laughs> uh, over this, uh, I think it's, no, it's actually sprite, I think, oh my god. Um, Alright, well, now the code will detect left mouse click, I think, and then it will just change the scene to, uh, I think it's like new scene, because that's the game scene, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the game works uh, okay, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know why the top one is not. And um, if you die once, you get stuck in a different loop. 
Uh, cool. The next few minutes I just spent on um, trying to fix this bug. I, I don't know if it was really worth it, but oh well, I guess it happens. Then I started exporting the game and then packaging it. GDevelop makes it really easy to just uh, package your game and then it auto makes it automatically makes an installer for your game, which is um yep, yeah, which is pretty cool. It, it was going good, but uh, it's, 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 it's slow down, which um I don't know if it is good or if it is bad. But um, if you um saw the last moment I clicked the enter button on exactly um what is it like 4.45 it was the exact hit and uh yeah there you have it there was make it game in 30 minutes I accomplished it although there was bugs but it's good leave a like um subscribe Hit that bell for future notifications and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.